Hey GTI fans, welcome back to another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival. So today we, um, let's just jump right in here. Um, or I should say last episode we went and got a bunch of iron uh, and didn't die. And so two good things. Uh, we also got a bunch of iron golems loot too, which was some more cobalt, uh, a little bit of promethium and, and co uh, copper, silicone, a little bit more iron on top of that too. Uh, but what you'll notice right now is I finished digging out the place and I sealed it up and put a ventilator in. It is now, um, as you can see, we'll show the oxygen it is now oxygenated in here it's nice 22 degrees so we are happening um i think what we really need right now oh and and here i'll let me go into a third person view here and while i was digging out the place the patrol vessel came and literally stopped and parked directly overhead for about half an hour. So he knows I'm here. Now, I'm not sure if that's because I let a drone get away. Um, one, of the, one of the attacks uh, was a drone. I just kept mining and drilling this place out and building on the base. I didn't go outside at all. And there was a base attack drone that a couple that came and then they both fled and never came back again, which was weird. And then all of a sudden the CV showed up and just hung around for half an hour. So I'm not sure if they changed the AI on how that all functions, but that was kind of cool and scary at the same time. Um, but what I decided to do with all my ill-gotten gains, so to speak, um, I'm getting low on copper now. What else am I? I'm, I'm getting pretty much low on everything. I need promethium. I just need everything. I need copper, iron, and promethium desperately now. Really. Well, not desperately, but pretty badly. But you'll notice what I made in the constructor. I made a bunch more HV parts. So I think today what we're going to do, I also made some more fuel and and stuff for the HV. So I think today what we want to do is my food situation is still kind of bleak. As you can see, I've got a couple of salami there, but at least in the meantime, I installed a mobile constructor on the HV. So I think what we need to do is we're just going to jump in here really quick. Uh, we're going to grab some, do I have O2 on me? I got lots of O2, lots of fuel, uh, lots of ammo. Don't really need these blocks on me. Don't need any of those blocks. So let's just go into the cargo. I'll just throw all this in there. Okay. Let's get in our hover box. Turn everything on because it all gets turned off. And here. Oh heck, why not? We'll just turn it on from here so that we can reopen the door. <laughs> uh, and this should be a lot easier getting in and out of now at least. So we've got 800 ammo. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab that ammo really quick first. I kind of need that right now. Uh, and you know what? I'll put the fridges on too. Um, yeah, that's all I should need for right now. Just going and gather in some meat. So let's get these fridges on. We'll get, uh, get that put away. That'll give us a nice extra chunk. So I'm thinking... Let's see. 
these we might want accessible from the outside, so maybe at the very top corner, exposed. Hmm. I don't know. Or... Yeah, let's put one there. And one there. Good enough for now. Yeah, that's good enough for now. Let's get in here now. Or uh, if, you know, if I can figure out how to jump. So you can see I got the ventilator in here. It's all airtight. I think I did that up in this episode, actually. So now, as you can see, we have an oxygenated environment that's sealed in in our... And, oh, I didn't dig that out enough. Okay, it's okay. It's more than before. Okay, and we're out and about. We don't have a lot of time left, so we'll just hunt real quick here. So it came from the, from directly from that direction again. I think if we just head up over here for now. Oh, I can't wait to put those beefier thrusters on and bigger, uh, bigger hover engines. It should stabilize. Here we go. Here's some critters right here. Okay, good. So we're gonna, we're gonna just go back a little bit further. And worms over there good okay and then, oh and there's spiders so we got to kill everything let's start with the spiders okay their hitbox is not nearly as small as it used to be that's good and I think they mentioned that on one of the last updates they did that let this thing get a little closer come on hurry up buddy I don't have all day <laughs> thank you uh, and then we'll get, we'll suck these guys into chasing me. And then the closest one we kill. Next closest dead. And then here we go. There we go. And we'll just jump out. Do a quick little... I'm a little leery of doing that now, since at that one time I jumped right out of the cab, and I, I had some difficulty getting back in. Yeah, this is excellent. Hopefully, oh, come on. Come on, guys. Give us, give us stacks of meat. That's a little better. Radiated fog. Hmm. Huh. I guess it's a good thing that uh, I have a controlled environment in my HV now. So, that was 11. That'll keep us going for a while, I guess. Let's get that cooked. Actually, no. Let's. We need more than that. Let's. We've got the the mobile constructor, we can, we can just cook these up right away. I can eat one right away too. Okay, so we'll let those continue to cook. Uh, let's find some more guys to kill. So there's these worms over here. They should, they should yield some good meat. And there's a whole ton of them. Well, look at them all. Okay, so what I need have, I need to be able to be a slight slope down. I don't have enough RCSs in this thing yet. And now I can't see them. Damn it. There they are. Okay. Are they coming at me? I think they are. Wow, that 
that was quite a few. <laughs> that was more than I expected. Okay. Looks good. Yeah, wormy, wormy, wormy. Oh! Like I say, the more RCSs in an HV, the better. You, I don't think you can over RCS an HV. There we go, level 10. Oh, perfect. Um, yeah, we can make drills now. Okay, so let's just jump out and up. And I love the fact that I stay protected in my cab after I do that. See that? 22 degrees and not getting radiated. I, um, I like my box design. Keeps me alive. Pick all your bits. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And there was some more around here. Those, those three. This guy. This guy. Okay. Nice. Another 13. Okay. I think, I, you know what? We hit level 10. We got a bunch of meat. I think we're good now. Although I should probably. I really do need more meat, really. But that's going to keep us going for quite a while. I think it'll keep us going long enough to go trick out the HV. So let's go trick out the HV with all the parts. And I'm going to build some drill bits for it too. Some, uh, and we can mine with the HV then. That'll be awesome. Okay. Let's just lower down. Point five, point four. Okay. And I gotta dig this out more. Okay, that's okay though. Okay. And nope, come on. Don't want it that close. I need to build stuff. So we'll sink this right down. Now we'll jump out. I know it's running right now. I, I just got stuff in the um, fridge and I want to close this door. Okay, let's. Get, oh, it's not in the fridge, it's in the mobile constructor. Yeah. Okay, now we can actually shut this thing off. Okay. Okay. Put it here. Put this stuff into here. And we can eat this. Put that in the fridge. Put that in there. Okay. And fridge. There we go. Ten salami cooked. Um, and we can make another 14, which we will do right now. And put that in the fridge when it's done. So 25 salami, that's going to last us quite a while. That'll, that'll be good for now. Plus our five emergency rations, so. Okay, I think we can get to tricking out this vehicle. Let's start by uh, picking up all these parts. And we're actually gonna go in to my tech tree. We wanna go to the hover vehicle. Uh, I've got the harvest module already sele um, selected from last level so I'll do the drill that's 12 points uh, I've got the hover box so I gotta make a hover box um, okay that's all I need on there what about for weapons I'm gonna take the projectile pistol there's a good chance of finding a kit for that so and they're pretty good t2 pistols are pretty good I'm gonna take the pulse rifle because that's better than an assault rifle or a, a t2 assault um, and if I find a, a rifle kit, I'd rather use it on the pulse rifle. Oh, this one. Oh, uh, fluck, it doesn't even require a rifle kit, but the T2 does. Oh, okay. Oh, I see how they do that. Ooh, tense. Woof. 
expensive to make a T2 pulse rifle. Wow. Okay, but possible. I think the oscillator and the flux coil... The flux coil is pretty expensive now, same with the oscillator. I think they cost way more Neo and SAF than before, so that's going to be a little bit more tricky to make. I'm going to have to either loot that stuff or somehow go into space and find it. Um, okay, 16 points left. Eh. I could just hold on to it for now, I guess, or you know what? Large fuel pack, that's not a bad idea. What else can we do here? Maybe unlock more of the small vessel stuff. The the larger thruster blocks, I think. Um yeah, let's do that. And then and then next time we can do the rocket launchers. So we'll do we've got six points left. Oh, we should have done a medic station. Derp a derp. Okay, so next level, I got to remember the medic station. Okay. Um. Hmm. Advanced constructor, lots of good stuff at tenth level. I just didn't have the points. I'm gonna do plant grow light because I think I can get some fiber and create some block, uh, create some uh, plots. And four points left. I'm. Elevator blocks? Mm, don't need them right now. All right. Texture tool, portable light. They're all useful, but not needed. Yeah. Four points. I don't really have anything to buy that worth four points that I want. So good enough for now. Uh, let's get the, ooh, let's just spin around in a circle till we're dizzy. Let's get the drills going. So here we go. Um, motor four, metal to 20. Okay, let's see how much one of them is going to cost realistically. We're at 368 iron. So eight iron. Not too bad. So I want to make one, two, three, four, five of those. I could make six, I guess, and have two. I mean, ultimately, six is the best. So let's do six. That way we can make it fairly widespread. Okay, well that's spinning up. Let's grab our blocks that I put in the cargo box. So I made a hundred and f uh, well, I have a hundred and five small blocks now. Um, and that should be good enough. We sh can start tricking this out. Okay, so let's... want to extend it further forward a bit, or do I? Do I want to extend it a little bit further forward, the, the pontoons? Yes, I think I do. So let's, let's drone it up because it's cheaper on uh, oxygen and food. And then I want to do the disassemble. Um, yeah, I was derping, I was thinking it was disconstruct, but the disassemble, on a private or faction vehicle or base and you will get the whole block back on a on a public or non cord structure or vehicle you will um, you have a chance at getting a whole block back but you'll more than likely just get 30% uh, uh, of the cost of the block back, which could end up being nothing if it was really cheap block to make, with only like that cost like one ingot or something, right? So, uh, so I'm gonna select disassemble because I want these blocks back. So, because I'm gonna be putting the drills along here. So let's just knock all these ones out for now. Um. Yeah, because I think what I want to do is I want to do 
tree drills along the bottom and then another three along the top maybe we're gonna move this we're gonna move this and we're gonna move this and then those guns can stay there that's fine that'll work fine yeah yeah so okay now the big the big hovers engines I want sticking out a little bit on each side and forward a bit at the front so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna add some blocks here for it to go up against uh, let's actually tilt start getting some contour going right like that okay so I mean what I could be using the symmetry tool right now but it just makes me duplicate my mistakes so I don't need to do that let's put the engine there Okay, and then we're going to do, basically, we're just going to, um, should I contour it like that? Yeah, why not? Come on. And then we'll just put of regular blocks and then what we can do is hmm. is it gonna work like that what about if I do some ex more contouring right off the bat yeah, because it doesn't have to be super thick, right? We just need that one layer of, of blocks. And then we'll just... Just fill that in. So make little wheel wells like that off of it. Yeah. So the other ones, um, so the other ones, what I what I want to put here is a couple of thrusters, these larger thruster blocks. I want to put one there and one there. Okay. So that should give us some more punch going up hills and it's also something to put the blocks up against right now. So bring the blocks back up. And so I think we want the contour again. Starting there. Oops, let's do this the right way. Two, three, four. And then just blocks. One, two, and then up again. Oops. Four. Let's get rid of this real quick. And then we just fill that in. Or 
here we'll we can um, just keep putting those rounded blocks in since we have them out okay and then we'll get this uh, get this engine in here and then get more blocks in so these are just gonna be flat blocks now come on come on come on thank you okay it's not gonna look so much like a box got some smooth corners to it now okay so same thing on this side so we extended that out one block past okay so this is just gonna be a regular block there and a regular block there and then this is this isn't it isn't that how it went yeah yes okay so that oops one more and then same thing on this side and then we rotate it and go like that rotate it go like that we can put this engine in and then just fill this with regular blocks whoa okay and then on this side, same thing. So it was this, like that. Okay. there okay. those in and then like that we can throw the the hover jet or the hover engine in and then oh did I Yeah, that's not that's not right. I needed to put more blocks there. I wanted that wider. So we'll make sure it's on disassemble. Because the deconstruct even on private only returns 60% now, so you're gonna lose out. Okay, so let's put these blocks in. We'll just flip regular blocks here. Okay, and now we can do the hover engine. Oh, I'm getting low on blocks. I gotta make some more blocks. Okay, there's the hover engine. Let's make some more blocks. So you can see I just aimed down with my, um, just to look at a base block instead of a hover block. That way when I control panel, I go into the base control panel. Okay, we'll get these. And we're going to make a bunch more blocks. So, I mean, I'm going to make an SV eventually too. So let's just go ahead and make a hundred, right? It's not like I'm not going to use them. We 
this. I've got to fit in this other generator because we'll need it. And these fuel tanks. So let's do that right now. While that's spinning up. So. So the other generator uh, and fuel tanks. So let's stand these up. So we can put we can put huh that's all kind of screwed up isn't it I should have put the ammo box off to the side um, oh this will be covered down here if we yeah here we go so if we go like this lay that down there Lay that down there, and then we do this. Oops. And put this in. Uh, we also have to finish putting the thrusters in. We also got some more O2 and an O2 station. I really need an armor station too. So let's that O2 there. That O2 there. And then we need uh well, let's grab these blocks, but we'll do the let's do these thrusters. So what do I got left? Six. I've got two at the back already. If I do one off each side, that would put me down to four, but I don't need that many off the front. So we do two off each side. So that gives us two extra each side. Yeah. So I think. I think I just want to stick it out right there. And same with this side. Just want it sticking out right there. And then its brother. Yeah. That'll be fine. We'll put as many blocks on this as possible. Um, facing forward. So now we'll spin. that and have that there and that there okay so that's going to give me a whole lot more schnot I probably need another RCS or two too so let's actually let's do that for sure um, so we needed a Armor locker, and let's get a couple more RCSs built. You can never over RCS an HV. Trust me, you want it to be able to be, you want it to be able to handle like a ballerina with your mouse. Seriously, you want you want it to be able to do turn in any direction super fast and just pivot there and, and hold in that position. And you need. You need to be over RCS to be able to do that with an HV. Uh, SVs, not so much. Um, they get a little twitchy if they're over RCS'd. Uh, you, you, that's more of a personal preference thing. Uh, some people like them twitchy. I, I don't mind it being a little twitchy. A lot of people like it being a little smoother so they, they don't quite over RCS it. They make it so there's a little bit of a, of a, a, a so it's a little softer feel to it when turning uh, that's more of a personal preference thing but but definitely on an HV over RCS it trust me trust me you will not regret it okay so let's get these in so we got a spot down here um, hmm put this armor locker in too. I'll have the armor locker just sticking right out there. So 
let's put so let's put if we have the armor locker oh and the eight and the I could put them inside right there but then they'll be higher than that well I could put Yeah, this might work if I put, um, hmm, hmm, actually putting them inside is not that bad of an idea. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, so we're gonna, we're gonna, come on, oh, I can't get over it. Come on, there we go. Now, I'm going to disassemble the ventilator. Okay. Auto leveling to turn the drone off. Just hit O. To turn it back on, hit O again. Once it, if, it's, if it's doing the auto level thing and you're having a hard time controlling it, just hit O. Turn it off. Then it's like you're flying around in space. It doesn't change positions or anything. Gravity doesn't really affect it. Okay, uh, let's actually put the RCS behind my seat. Okay, and then we'll put the ventilator on top of that. The reason I didn't want to have put the other things in beside it, because that would create a little hole in behind my seat that I could get trapped in. Not likely, but it could happen. Okay, so we're going to put both these in inside here. So we'll put one there. And then we'll put this beside it. Right there. Okay. So there we go. Um, I mean, ideally, I could put the fridges in there too. You know what? I am going to. That's a that's a brilliant idea. Oh, but then from outside I won't be able to reach them. I I wanted to have that block exposed. <sighs> hmm. I don't know. Actually, maybe just sealing it right off, taking the, taking those off, and then just covering the whole thing in blocks. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Let's just put these inside. So we'll go like this. And we'll go like this. And that'll give us more space for RCSs if we need it to. Okay, so we'll do my fridges inside also. Our, oh, they. Is that oh yeah okay there we go so we'll go there and there and I can't fit in that little in that single block so it, it won't pop me into there okay so there we go we've got some uh, we've got some gear on the inside that's okay though that's okay though okay are those blocks done all right, yes, they were. I already grabbed them. Six. Um, okay, let's skin this other side. And put that in there. Okay. So that'll be way more stable side to side now. Um, because I've added a whole bunch more weight, I'm not sure if it's going to have much more thrust from side to But it might, because those are two medium ones. So that would be more than doubling the thrust power. And actually in every direction. Uh, so maybe, it might be a little quicker. So blocks, how are we going to do this? We want to put the turret up here. So I think we just go with full blocks. Full blocks there. 
and then we want to I think we want full blocks all the way down all the way down <laughs> uh, come on and then you know what I can probably get away with dragging that down and across yep okay okay that, that seals that up fairly well um, and then what we can do is we can <coughs> we can kind of make a little um, yeah let's, let's use these come on just one more thank you and then we can use regular blocks was nine. Okay, and then we can put the turret up there. And it's not looking so boxy anymore. Got some th exposed thrusters and one. Mm. See, I want to be able to potentially put turrets there so I think for now for now we'll just let that be exposed we still got forward facing thrusters uh, buried on the inside with the small blocks so hmm, I don't think it's an issue now let's see we can we could do something like this guy and flip that to there and then something like that yeah and then we'll just do the uh the slopes that okay getting a little bit more organic uh, we could do something with the front and we got to put those drills in so let's do that so I'm thinking what I want I want a drill there in the center. I want a drill there. I want a drill there. I want a. I kind of want two there, really. But what I should do is I'm going to put a. Hmm. Do I put one up high like this now? And then or up really high to help out with the turret. So if I put one here now and then put two like up there. Or like, or like sink it into the block and in, or even over more. Yeah, I might have to do that. Or put, put this up higher. Yeah, okay, so what we'll do is we're going to pop this off. And then we're going to put, I should put another Gatling in there, shouldn't I? Hell, I could put like three more. But 
You know what? That's freaking brilliant. I don't know if I have the resources for that, though, but... How much are they going to cost? Getting really low on copper. And they cost... Ooh, lots of mechanical components. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that then. I don't need to. Hmm. Okay, so... Do I put these in the sides? Or like, even like this, maybe? Or like... I'm thinking like that. Let's do that. Come on. Okay. I'm thinking like that. Okay, those things are going to eat up a ton of energy all the time. So I've got to go after Promethium pretty damn quick. And... Oh, there's my other drill. Let's get this guy up there. Now, should I do it there? Or there? Let's do it there so that it's a little bit lower for meteorites in the future. I'm, I'm thinking of the future, right? So... Do we just put blocks in there, I guess? Sure. We'll go with this. Boom. Boom. Come out like that, and then we can. We could put like a. We could put like a spotlight in there, and then we go like this, and a spotlight there. That and a spotlight there, and then we have some angle spotlights up top, uh, and a straight one up there so we're gonna have lights like crazy but we're gonna have to because these drills get in the way of all the lighting okay it's a little ugly but let's get these pot lights build so let's get these pot lights we're gonna need one two three four so that we have a seven quick before I start getting getting hangry oh they're probably all in the food processor aren't they yeah let's eat those and put those in the fridge okay okay and those should be finished cooking. There we go. Now, hopefully seven should be enough. We'll see, because I want to put some off the back and sides too. So, if I want one off each side, one off the back, that's three. I can only put four on the front. So I want one here, like that. I want... I want... I want, yeah, let's do there. Another there. And, hmm. We gotta put blocks under there, that's okay. Um, hmm. Maybe we'll put two off the back. So we want...
let's should we just put that right beside the or should I put it up top right like that or in an angle oh that's a better idea yeah okay we'll put in those two angle ones right here so we want it like that yeah and Come on. What? That? I'm not sure which direction the light is facing, so we'll have to, we'll find out later. Okay. Okay. And then we want... We can also do that off the back, I guess, too. On an angle. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So we, we'll go... Um... that and like that and then we'll see what those are like when we when we turn it on we might have to adjust that but that's okay and then and then we can do some stuff like we'll slope down the nose that and like that and like that and like that and that and that and that well it's not looking so boxy anymore okay so we also want some regular Regular blocks like there and there and that one and that one. Okay. 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 And our final little piece here on the top like the cherry nice nice and then I, I could put I should build two more minigun turrets and put one there and on the front the other front there um, but I think we need to go mining first and get some more stuff well guys let's take this out for a quick spin and then we'll call it an episode. So. Jump in. And it should be easier to get in and out of now. Um, so actually let's try without my jetpack to see if I can actually get up it. So let's see. Can I jump up? Yep. Oh yeah, I can actually climb all over this thing without a jetpack. Okay. Yep. Jitterbug. Okay, and then we'll turn it on. And woo, let's do a fill all and fill all. Fill all. Okay, that's full. We'll fire that up. Ooh, 20% consumption. Jeez. We might have to put another generator in. The problem with it idling at 20% when I start gunning it. It might go over 20%. So let's jump in. And we'll. Yeah, right now it's at 20%. Wow. Let's see. Let's see what happens. Oh, I can't get out of here. What the hell am I. Oh, yes, I can. I can break out, damn it. Yeah.
Kind of exposes my base a bit, though. Uh, but that's okay, I have to anyway. I gotta get out of here, right? So. Ooh, not feeling the over, the RCS love. I'm not feeling the RCS love. Actually, it's really kind of docile. Mm. Is it? Well, actually, I can... Not too bad. I... No, no, that's not too bad. Okay, I think it was just because I was jammed up against something. So, let's... Yeah, this works. See how I can keep it... Wheelie, keep a wheelie going and move it forward and back up and still keep a wheelie going. That's RCS's. I wouldn't be able to do that without the RCS's. And what is going on? Am I actually leaving little poops behind? Oh god, I am because I am a derp. <laughs> well, it's a good thing I didn't go out and start mining a deposit. So, I'm gonna get out. <laughs> I missed something very important. Okay, I guess I gotta. Come on. Now, the reason why it left a whole bunch of stone turds on the ground is because I forgot to put a harvesting box on my HV, so I gotta make one. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And that's why you test it before you go live. Hmm. How about if I just throw it underneath there for now? I don't think it's going to affect my thrusters. Yeah, let's just do that. Okay. And... Oh, great. Now I'm just going to continuously jump. <laughs> okay, stop it. Tiny little baby step jumps. There we go. Okay, here we go. Now we can... Now we can get out of here. Just, just touch this up a bit. So those little, those little nards aren't floating in the air. Those can actually stop a, a 50 megaton CV from get going through it, and it's stopping me right now. Gosh. Okay. So that's okay. That's okay. We'll just jump out. We'll drone it up. Maybe. Jump, drone, there we go. Okay, and then we'll take our drill out and drill these little bits then. It's a little, a little too hard for the feet to get, so just I can get these, but it's just up really quick here. Okay, that should be good enough now. Yeah, that should be good enough. A little smoother. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And my Why didn't you close? Oh, because I manually opened it, didn't I? I can't remember doing that, but I must have. I'll just go shut it. <laughs> okay. So here we go. Let's do our test. This is the test run. Get this up to height. Okay. Let's just try climbing some ridiculous stuff right off the bat. Man, 
much more stable. I don't have to sit there and spam O anymore. And that seems to have no problem. It's going up. My power use is 30%. Okay, good. Uh, that's not going to consume. I don't need to actually put more on it then. So there we go. There we go. We got a real HV now. Oh, 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 oh. Hang on, I gotta, let me get out of, where there's no critters, I gotta adjust my turret. So I don't like it firing at predators, because it's just a waste of my bullets. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in here, and where is my drill, or my minigun turret? Oops, yeah, yeah, I don't need to go into it. Let's try this again. Uh, I'm going to turn Predator off, Warp Drive off, Thrusters off, Generators off, Turrets and Mounted Weapons, yeah, I'll let it shoot at that, that's, that's okay. And I left Aliens on. What that'll do is it will still shoot at drones. And speaking of, there's a drone right over here, so let's, without getting too close to that base up there, let's try taking out these drones. Let's, let's see. Let's see. that one and then we'll do the cannon drone okay and then we'll do this guy a large gun nice now I'm not sure if I can get I see I can see the turrets up there now so that's probably oh sneak a little closer yeah I don't think I can I don't think I can loot these guys I need to I don't think I can get to this Prometheum it's gonna start shooting at me any second isn't it isn't it 98 shooting yet okay so so let's just back off a little bit and we'll just chance this let's um because I really want to loot these drones so I'm just gonna jump really quick okay and then this because a large minigun drone should give us some goods oh yeah four wow those, uh, the things that used to be reactor cores are now the, the cobalt alloy, which is like really uber. Um, especially if you don't even have an SV up. Okay, so we'll get that guy too. Excellent, that was a good... Whoa! Um, I'm out of here! <laughs> what the hell shot at me? I think it shot my drone! shot me uh hello hello Bueller okay that scared the bejesus out of me <laughs> I want to go home okay that's it I'm going home that's it that's it test flight over successful let's just run away we're going home that's it So now it it restabilizes itself with the wide pontoons. It's much more easy to, to navigate. Okay, that guy that guy pissed me off. He's he's gonna get what's coming to him one day. In the meantime, we'll head back to base and call it an episode. 
list. Go here, and then in. And thank you very much. And go in. And see, I think the problem is it won't close by itself because I'm too close to the door. So we'll just let herself down. Turn it off, and oh, yeah, yeah, fine. I lost in one air. Whatever. Okay, guys. Well, <laughs> other than my drone getting blown up, uh, that was fairly successful. We tricked out the HV. It it performs a lot better now, um, obviously. And but we didn't get to try the drill out. I think we're just out of time here. And that'll be for next episode. Next episode. Ooh. Uh. Wow. I got hit. Look at that. I got hit by the uh, by something. Wow. Okay. So it like tore through my drone and hit my yeah that 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 actually did some decent damage. Let's check this out. So eh, not really. Oh, that was stupid. Well, it's a good thing I can get. That. <laughs> <laughs> derp and derp. Okay, let's try this again. We'll, we'll replace this block. <laughs> it, that might have actually been cheaper than repairing it. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's repair. So that was two charges to uh, to remove it, and uh, one charge to repair. Okay, so okay, I wasted a technically wasted a charge then. Okay. There we go. Not that big of a deal. Just a scratch. Not that bad. Other than that, I would say it's a successful endeavor. It uh, it works. Well, guys, if you like this episode, like and subscribe. Uh, next episode, we will be taking the HV out for a serious drilling session. I plan on going and getting every one of each node, just like gobbling up an entire node of promethium, iron, silicone, and and copper and that is my goal for next episode well guys it was a blast until then have a good one